Today I'm going to give you a complete guide on how to install this Star UI mod for Starfield that's going to vastly improve the UI, the quality of life in the game, and your experience with it. So stay tuned as we go through it step by step. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to install Star UI. Actually, we're going to be installing two separate mods because Star UI actually consists of two separate mods. The mods are available through Nexus Mods. If you're not familiar with it, this is a site where people publish mods. This has existed for decades, I feel like. We're just going to start by going up here to the top and we're just going to go Star UI. And as you can see, there exists two mods here. There's one called Star UI Inventory and Star UI Hot. The Star UI Inventory, as you can see here, it changes your inventory to have a lot more information displayed. You will get all the different values, as you can see here. You get, you get better like naming, more compact. It's just, it's a better hot. It looks better, you get more information. The Star UI hot changes over, so when you are not in your inventory, but just looking at items in the world around you, again, you get a lot more information about those items. You can change colors of the little radar thing, but it's stuff like this, where again, you get a more compactness, you get them color coded based on what type they are, whether they are weapon or plant materials. You can see here, you get mass and now for both of these mods, if we scroll down, there are installation guides down here and they are actually in fact the same. <laughs> so, so we have two steps that we need to complete. The first step is to enable archive invalidation. This just allows you, the allows the game to sideload these mods in. Remember when you install these mods that you, it is going to disable your achievements. You can't earth, earn achievements with this enabled. There is a mod that allows you to then earn achievements while mods are enabled. So you need to install a mod for that too. Um, <laughs> but for now, we're just going to focus on this mod. I just want to say that if you're still hunting achievements, you will not progress towards those achievements as long as you have mods installed. And they say there are two ways you can go about enabling this. Either you can go into and get a, a tool called Beth Ini. Basically, this is just a tool that allows you to edit text files. I feel like it's a little overkill, unless it does a lot of things that I don't know. But for me, it's seen a little overkill for what we need to do here. So I'm just going to be following the manual method as that's quite easy, as you will see. So all you need to do here is just to go into Documents, My Games, and then Starfield, and your folder should look something like this. So in this folder, what we need to do is we need to create a new custom ini file. We already have an ini file here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just make a copy of that file like so. And as the guide also says over here, we're going to rename that file to starfieldcustom.ini. So let's just take that, copy, and then take that new copy we made and rename it like so. And if you open this up, you will quickly see what this does is it stores your settings in game. So all your display settings and all that stuff is all stored in here. So you can see here you have display settings and you have your volume settings and there's some other different some interface some gameplay setting, uh, your difficulty is all controlled through here. What is the default settings when you open up? When you change the settings in games, they are changed here. We're going to enable a few extra settings. We're going to create a new category. They've handily put it right here, which we're going to write. Um, and we're gonna go, I'm gonna be posting this uh, this text here in the uh, in the description as well. But we're just gonna post that down there at the bottom. So we have one that said archive. Make sure you don't just look through the file, make sure you don't have an archive already, you shouldn't have that. Um, and yes, this last one does need to be empty. It just needs to be equals and then nothing. So I know it sounds, it looks a little weird, but that is correct. That is how it is supposed to be. Once we add that, save the file and uh, we're done with step one. For the next step, we need to install the actual mods. And again, you have two options for what you can do. You can go with a manual method or you can get a mod manager. Now, if you're just planning to have a few number of mods, you can just do this the manual way. Um, I'm gonna be using a mod manager simply because if you have a large number of mods you want to install, if you really wanna play around with mods, it can be easy to try and easily enable, disable mods as it can be quite tricky to actually remove a mod afterwards without a mod manager. So I recommend for these kind of things to use a mod manager. The one they recommend, the one they have themselves is called Vortex. So we head back out to the front page. We search for Vortex and here we have it. We're just gonna head into files and here we can go with the manual download. As part of the download, you're gonna need .NET um, 6.0 or higher and you're gonna make sure you have Windows 10 or above. Um, if you're in doubt whether you have them, you can just click here and it will download the installer for the, for the .NET installer. Um, and again, you should already know what operating system you're on. We're just going to make sure again that our .NET um, 
framework is installed. So we're just gonna make sure that we get that. And now we can go and install the mod manager itself. Once you've got Vortex installed, make sure you go up here and you click login. You need to log in with your Nexus mod account. If you haven't created one already, you need to go ahead and uh, make yourself an account on Nexus mods. Next, we're gonna head out here and we're gonna click games and we're gonna see if we can find Starfield. So we should be able to just search here for Starfield. There it is. Click and set manage. Once we do that, we can see we need an extension. So we're just gonna say yes. Okay, just head over to your download section. You should see that extension for, uh, for Starfield. Go ahead, click install. And just for good measures, once it's installed, let's go ahead and restart mod manager again. So finally, we are now ready to install the mods themselves. If we head here to the mod section, we can see that currently we have no mods. We only have the, um, the Starfield's um, support for Vortex. We can see that is here and it is enabled. So that's up and running, that's good. So if we head back to the star UI, we head over to the files tab, we should now see that we now have either the manual download, which you could do if you want to do the manual download, or we can now have the mod manager download, which is the one we're going to be using. If you don't see this option, Try to refresh, make sure you're logged in here on the website as well. Um, and then you should see this option. So mod manager download for this one is the inventory. Back over in Vortex, we should now see here again in the mods that it should be finished downloading, once it is at least. We can, it says it is never installed. So um, we have downloaded it, but we haven't really installed it yet. So up in our downloads, we can click install. We can choose the settings we want for the mod, um, whether we want the colors or not have extra colors in. Um, what are we gonna, we're going to use Vortex, frame rate, uh, we're just going to keep it at 60. There's a README. And we're going to click Finish. And now we should have here in Mods, we can see that the UI is enabled. All three of them are now ready to go. So now we should be able to start up Starfield and have our brand new pretty UI up and running. And you can see what I mean about it being easy. If you ever feel like, oh, I don't want to play with that mod. If you have two mods that don't really work together, which can be a thing if you really begin to install a lot of mods, you go in here and you click disable. And you can just disable and enable the mods as you see fit. It's so much easier to do it this way. Um, so that's why I recommend you use a tool like this. And in game, if we quickly just open up our inventory, we can see, first of all, nice new colors. So we can see that. And if we go in and check, let's say our... We don't have no resources with us here, but we'll misc here. These are all key cards, as we can see from the logo. These are all um, artifacts. I assume if we go in here, we can see this is all like survey data. They get different icons. I have a chest here with like a gazillion things in. So I can see I could scroll through this and I get a nice UI so I can see the stats of it. If we go into the chest here again, let's say we go to resources again. You can see the difference. We do get sub filters in here. It's super nice. Um, and if we find something on the ground, let's just take and say that we came across this gun that I'm holding right now, or maybe that one. And we can see here if we hover over it, we get more information on screen so we can see the stats of it. And I think it drops some books over here. We get, again, the same information about the value and also the value per mass as we talked about earlier. So there you go. Really hope you're going to enjoy it. Really hope this is going to be helping you in your adventures in Starfield. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.